Hi, this is Dodie and I'm back to do a little embellishing in the journal we're making and show you the lace um, covering for the spine. And um, just want to show you some little different um, things that I did in, in the original journal just to give you some ideas. Um, the first thing I did was I wanted to make like a secret pocket in this in this area, a place to insert a little a little mini journal. So, um, in order to make the pocket, I did double print this page, and my um, intention was to just sort of cover the the larger the six inch side. And, and create the little enclosed pocket. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score, I think you can see, let me see, okay, yeah. I'm gonna score right here at six, but I'm also gonna go over a half an inch and score at a half an inch as well because that's going to create um, sort of a little gussety thing. So I'm gonna just, and I like to tear paper, I'm just gonna tear that like that and I'm gonna fold it like that now because I don't have enough to score on these sides I am gonna glue this directly down but I I don't want it to go all the way over to the edge I want it to like start right about here so I'm gonna score it starting at about uh, right at the edge of her hoop skirt so I'm gonna start from the bottom, I don't know if you can see, and I'm gonna just go up here. And then just like we did with the cover, I'm going to, I'm gonna fold it in to give it a nice finished edge. And I'm going to glue that edge down to give it some oomph, give it a nice sort of a finished thick feeling. And then I'm going to do something I should have been more prepared for. I'm going to walk over to this side of my room and I'm going to get my little cutty thing, my cutter thing, so that I can make a little, I'm going to make a little round, little round indentation right there. <laughs> okay. And then I am going to stain the edge to once again give it sort of a, oops, sorry. Didn't mean for that to all tumble into the workspace. Okay. I'm going to ink it a little bit just to give it a little aged look. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to bring my book back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to match it up just like that. And I'm going to add some glue and this will just give it so it's not so glued down tight. The edges will be tight, but there will be a little, a little room in there. I'm going to put some glue at the edges like that. There we go. And then I am going to put it on the page like that. I'm gonna try to match it up as best I can. So it looks like, like you're doing wallpaper. Just try to match up the the words and the, the pattern as best you can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll be pretty good. There we go. So there, you've got a little pockety place, a little slide in spot that you can put, you know, something right in there like that. All right, so we've done that. Now, another little spot that I liked, now for this page, I like to put on my, um, my library pocket. So I do like to do this with a library pocket. And I am going to round up the edges like this. 
I could use my little edge cutter thing, but I'm just gonna round it up like that. And then I'm going to um, score the um, sides, the little tabs here to close it up. And let's see what I'm doing. Like that. There we go. And then the bottom one. Like that. And so then you fold it in. And it gives a nice, neat pocket. Now, I think it would be nice to put something in there to um, cover this back part. Oops, I'm sorry. To cover this back part. So I'm going to get out some, um, some nice collaging pieces. And I'm going to find one that will work. Here's a nice one that will go across. Illustrations of insects. That's kind of fun. There we go. And I'm going to just, put, it'll be a little lumpy, but it'll, it'll work out. I'm just going to cover it like that. Let's see. There we go. And then I'm going to just sort of trim it up. I have to say, if I was not within time constraints, I would probably have used Mod Podge to put that on with, uh, or the rubber cement, something to make it more smooth. But um, it's gonna be covered for the most part with, um, you know, a tag, a big journaling card will be in there. So that'll keep it covered up. And then you just glue the sides shut. Make sure it's even. I like to make sure I've got it. I'm gonna glue the sides shut first because it's, it's wanting to list a bit to the side and then I can pull the other one over. So there, glue that shut. That. That's nice. And then take this one and glue it shut like that. Yeah, that'll work. But these library cards do come in the kit, the library pockets. I mean, the library pockets will come in the accessories kit. And, um, they're just fun to have to place in the book. And um, and like I said, the Tim Holtz um, ink just covers a multitude of sins. It's wonderful. So if we take the book, and then we can just place it right there on the, on the page. And so you've got that sort of embellishment in the book that you can use. And you don't have to. You can do whatever kind of pocket you want. Use all the journal tricks of the trade to make it a nice page. There's that option. And then of course, these aren't done, but you can then stick in some tags. Now, here's another page. This is a little more, <clears throat> a little more in detail. I did this one. I, um, I did make a, um, I did take this, this part right down here, and I, I created a pocket down there. But I think instead of doing that on this one, I am gonna use this pocket that I created. Well, actually, that's too big. 
that needs to go on a bigger page. I think I'm gonna put that one on this page. So let's work on this page right now. Because what this page, I think, for now, we're just gonna leave it as it is. Um, but we'll take this pocket, and as you can see, this one also comes in the accessories kit. It's got the tabs already created. You just need to score them to fold them up, and it's all ready to go. And this pocket will be roomy. You'll be able to put stuff in it because it's And I think I will, I think I'll embellish this pocket a little bit with, um, with some of that leftover book ruffle that I've got. I like that in there. So I'm just gonna ink that up. And I'm going to see how much I need. How much do I need? I think I can cut it off right there. There you go. That'll be nice. Yeah, I like that. We'll put that in there like that. That's kind of nice. and it closes up like that. The other thing you can do, um, could add a little lace on there, um, or let's see, what else could there be? Let's bring the book over and see what would look nice. That looks nice there. I'm gonna ink it up here again. I, I, put, on, I put it on backwards, but I kind of like the, um, the effect. Um, can use that pocket and that's nice, but you can build it up with like, for instance, here's a nice little piece of lace that could go on there like that. I think that's, can't, it's hard to see which sides. I think that's the right side, just sort of as a little embellishment, um, or, and you could actually embellish it once you get it glued onto there. So I think I'm gonna glue it down and then work on what else to add to it. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna trim up this edge. You want these to be cut. You cut right through the corner like that. That way they don't meet up so much. There we go. Put those away. There, that folds up better. I think we'll put that on there right there like that. Just, it, th these are roomy pockets. You can put a lot in them. I've always made pockets this way. I, when I started doing journaly things, I ended up watching a lot of card makers and um, I learned how to make my pockets with the, the half inch extension and then the score to fold it in. I, I didn't tend to just glue a piece of um, cardstock onto a page. I've always sort of made these roomier pockets um, and I like them. I like them to be be able to hold stuff, lots of stuff. Um, and here is where I'm going to put one of um, the paper pads from Mary at A Passion for Paper. Um, and on this one, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make her a little door. And so what I'm going to do is, and I'm just showing you this stuff to show you what you can do to sort of embellish and, and um, you can get real creative with your papers. So I'm going to go all the way across and I'm going to... Tear, tear it off. There we go. And then I'm going to make a little door. So I'm gonna 
go over to make about half an inch, and I'm gonna score it down the brown part too, right here, right on the edge. There we go. And I'm going to, and then this piece right here would make a really nice journaling card of its own. And I'm gonna take this like that. And then I'm going to, let's see, actually, I need to do this. I need to score it right there at, I should have scored it at four inches. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do it upside, let's see, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do it at four inches. There we go. And fold it in. I'm going to cut some of it off. And I mean, here, this would make a nice little part on a belly band. So there we go. I've made that like that. And I'm going to put it right there on that. And I think I will, what I'll do is I'll come back in here and I will put some plain paper, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some old ledger paper and put that in there. But first I'm going to put on my little door that I'm making. That'll be fun. So I'm just gonna put some glue down the edge, right on the seam, kind of, and snuggle it up into this little lace stampy thing. And put it, glue it down so it'll stay. And that's why I like the tacky glue. Can you see it's sort of moving around? It just, it gives it, well, until you got it, until you get it all settled. And I need that because I, I tend to need to have to move things around and get things right. And then I think I'm gonna take my scissors here my little scallopy scissors, and I'm gonna scallop the edge, because that'll be pretty. Just give it a little trim. That's kind of neat. And I'll highlight it with some ink. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is I will come in here and I will put some old ledger paper just to give it sort of a neat old feel and you can make it into a secret journaling place. And then this piece I'm gonna do like I did my other one. I'm going to make it into a oh, wrong wrong one. Let's see, where is it? Where did I put it? There it is. Okay. Oops, crash. Sorry. That was my my paper clips just fell over. So this one I'm going to do the same way. I'm going to score it at six. At six and another half inch that and I'm going to tear it off like that and then I'm going to fold it in just a little like right there I'm going to score it right there Fold it in, make sure it's even, which it sort of isn't. I'm gonna go back over it, like right. I'm gonna do it again right there. There we go. That'll make it evener. Go into it. There we go, like that. to put it on this page like that. 
And I'm gonna glue this down. But I, it's driving me a little crazy because it's a little bit crooked. So I'm gonna do it again just to make sure. I'm gonna do it in a little further like that. I hope that's not crooked too. Paper might be crooked. Well, that works, that's better. Okay. I'm gonna glue it down. Yeah, because that's the place where I want my little snip to be, my little thing that's gonna indicate that it's a pocket. Okay. Alrighty. And that's gonna be where I'm gonna glue it. And then I'm gonna take my snipper thing and snip it right there. That's so much fun, watching those go into the air. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Just ink it up. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to put this down right here where it can be seen match it up. So I'm going to glue along the edge here. And then this will be another place where you could slide oh, file folders or um, another little mini journal. I like to fill these journals with, oh darn, with little mini journals because then people can, you know, write in them as well as store things in them. And it just makes it all the way around just fun. So we'll put that in there like that. And once again, we have a slidey space. Here we have another pocket that we can fold up. And we could put that, I need to get ledger paper for in there. We could put that on that page. That would look nice on that page. And then we've got the two pockets on pages. So let me score that one. And then let's decorate that one with some coffee filter ruffle that I have, some leftover coffee filter ruffle. And then I have sort of a crocheted lace um, embellishment from, I don't know what, collar or something, an old one. Well, not really old, I don't know, this might be vintage. Let's just call it vintage, not old my scissors. I'm gonna, I don't know why, it's just better if you just snip a little bit more. I mean, it works, but it's a little bit bulky. So it's okay to just snip them up a little bit. And let's get, let's get the coffee filter ruffle on there. Let's put our book back on here. Now my, my, my pile over here is getting messy, very messy. Messy, yes indeed. Occupational hazard. And I'm gonna take this and see which side looks best. This side is the better side, I think. And just put it on there like that. Okay, I think I might do a double. I'm going to first put on the one, get it started. Make sure I've got the right side. There we go. I'm gonna move it down a little. Into the pocket, like that. I'm gonna snip this off. Okay, like that. Like that, and I'm gonna trim this up a little. Trim this side up a little. Okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna make it a double ruffle just for fun. Give it some extra oomph and I'm gonna scrunch it with glue. So let's scrunch it with glue. So I'm gonna put some glue on. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my ruffle. Okay. Scrunch it up. 
And then because I've got all this glue down here, I'm just gonna take part of a coffee filter and cut it and stick it on there just to cover up that, absorb that glue. That way it won't get stuck. That's kind of cute. And then once again, you could add lace. Lace would be pretty on there as well, or lace at the bottom. The bottom would be nice. I think I will put that lace on there at the bottom because that would make an extra little puckety thing. So I'm gonna do my, just put a little bit of the glue on there like that. Okay. Try to determine which is the right side and which is the wrong side. I think that'll work. Is that the wrong side? No, okay, this is the right side. Okay, put that on there like that. Just cut it off. Here we go. Cut, cut, cut. It stretches a little so you can get it to the edge. That's nice. Cut off that little thread there. That'll make a nice little extra pockety thing. There we go. I think I will glue that down. And these are just some of the ideas. Of course, everybody has great ideas and I think that I have full faith in everybody to make amazing selections and do amazing things in their journals. It's kind of nice. And that way, you could take an extra little tag and stick it in there like that. That would be fun. Okay. So there we go with that page. Oh, I do think I'm gonna put my <laughs> a passion for paper thing over there. Um, we've done that there. We've done that there. Let's just make sure it's stuck down. Okay. And then, you know what? I have this left over from, I wonder, okay, I'm gonna think about that. Okay, um, now this page, I think it would be fun on this side to do a great big um, diagonal, a diagonal pocket. So what I think I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna take it on this sort of diagonal like this and I'm going to score it. Wait, let me get it right the way I want it. Let me see. I'm going to score it right down there like that. And then I'm going to tear it. Here we go. Ready, set, tear. And it's, I'm actually going to... Let's see, I'm going to do now some rough tearing. So I, I do like to make these kind of uneven tearing situations. And then I'm going to do, and I'm, I am just gonna glue this since I don't have any room to make a gusset. I'm just gonna make it sort of, and plus the journal's gonna get kind of stuffed, you know, with papers and stuff. I am gonna just glue down the edges like directly to the page so I can match it up. And then I'm gonna take this part right here and I'm gonna ink it. Like this. And I'm going to do a ruffle. I'm going to make a ruffle. 
So I'm just gonna take it, ruffle it up like that. And I'm going to see what it looks like underneath like that. Or am I gonna stick it on top like that? I kind of like it on top like that. I'm gonna go to my sewing machine really quick. I'll be right Okay, so what I ended up doing was I ruffled up, let's see, the edge I tore, and then I had, I found while I was over at my sewing machine, I found this little section of ruffled sari silk, and I'm just going to glue that down on the edge and make a little tuck spot. And it'll be a tuck spot for just just some a thin a thin journaling card, some paper. It's not going to be a roomy tuck spot in that it's just going to be able to accommodate something thin and small probably. But it nonetheless will be a nice tuck spot and it adds a nice a nice bit of interest right there. And then I think Oh, I, I can't find my other part of my, where did I put? Okay, we've got this part right here. And that makes a nice little flip. Oh, that's a different one. That's from a different page. Gotta find the page I'm working on. I wonder what I did with the rest. Oh, there it is. There's the rest of the page. So here we are, we've got the rest of the page. So I think, I think it would be fun to make a flip out of that. That would be fun. So I am going to score it right here, right down this place, right here. There we go. And I'm going to rip it. I'm a ripper. I like to rip. Um, I'm going to just clean it up a little bit. We go like that. Not, I took it outside the camera. I knew I thought, oh, they can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to fussy cut along this little lace edge here um, because I love this little lace stamp that I used. I made some lace stamps out of um, lace pieces and that was fun. And then I also had some lace stamps in my Photoshop stamp collection. Okay, so, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my scoring implement and I'm gonna score it right there. So it folds up like that. And I'm gonna attach it exactly where it should go so it flips up like that. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there. Yeah, I like that. That'll be fun. I'm just going to put that on there like that. Okay, that's fun. I'm just sort of, we're doing like, you know, what do they call that thing when you... Um, Free association. I'm doing free association junk journaling right now. Just like on the go junk journaling. Sort of do it as it comes to you. I'm gonna just put that down like that. And I'm gonna trim it on the edges like this. And there we go. I'm gonna trim it up around like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't talk too much on my journals, on my, on my flip throughs and whatnot, but I do have like a hereditary cough willed to me by my grandmother and my mother that I do cough a lot. People always think I'm, oh my gosh, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, it's just my cough. Okay, so we're gonna glue that there. And then I think I'll, I'll eventually put something there. I have an idea of what I'll do, but for right now, we're just gonna do this. 
gonna put that right there like that. And I think I will eventually put a little ribbon through there at the top. We're not gonna do that right now, but. But that made a nice little flip up. That's pretty. Okay, and I think that we decided that's where my Mary Passion for Paper pad is gonna go. And we've got this, this is crooked, this is driving me crazy. I'm going to even it up. But I'm gonna have to turn the book around upside down, sorry. I'm gonna have to turn it upside down and start over evening this up because it is, it is crooked. Don't know how I did that. Watch, I'm gonna like have to keep cutting it away and cutting it away and cutting away till there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, I think that worked. It's not crooked anymore, it's a little bit crooked. It just seems to wanna to be crooked at the top. Okay, let's do this. There. There. Okay. Here we go. I might put a little piece of... I'm looking, 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 looking for something on leftover. Here's a leftover coffee filter ruffle. I might, I might put that there. That looks kind of pretty. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to do that just to, because the edge is wonky. That wonky edge is gonna drive me a little bit crazy, so. You're just getting a really good look at how I work, which is, you know, just free association, junk journaling as it comes to me, just as it happens. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like that. I gotta trim the top. There. Okay. There we go. That's kind of fun. Okay. So we've got that thing. And we're contemplating what this is going to be, maybe sort of. And we have that little pocket. That little flip up, that little pocket. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna think about that. Um, I've got this library pocket. Oh, and what we need to do is we need to make our um, our other library pockets with our little, that are gonna be our little tabby things. So those are these. And what we're gonna do is First, we're going to ink them up on the edges, and then we're gonna score them and fold them in. So that they make nice little library pockets. And I think, rather than line, now, I should have probably printed them front and back with some like a sheet of music or something on the back, but I didn't. So we could either line them like I did the other one or just leave them and do, um, do this. Let me just, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this color, antique linen. I like antique linen. Okay. Sort of gently color them up. It's kind of nice. Do them um, sort of gradually. Get them a nice color. All right. And then fold them. Oh, look at me. I did the wrong part. Okay. Here we go. Do it again. Look at me. See how I do things inside out sometimes? I've always had spatial problems. Okay, alrighty, and then this, I've gotta cut the corners, because the corners aren't cut. There we go. There we go. There we go. Do it again. Yay. 
and then we're going to do the spine. Okay, see, that's kind of nice. I'm going to fold them in. There we go. Fold. And we're going to fold. That looks kind of nice. Yeah, I like that. Do them shut. Then we're going to put them in a pocket, and then we're going to make our little spine, our little lacy spine. What I did was, because I want, actually I want this to be a really accessible journal, like for beginner journal makers, these are great to start, you know, if you're on your journal journey <laughs> and you become addicted, as we all know, we have become addicted. Um, this is a great kind of journal to start with. It's very rewarding because it looks nice when it's made and uh, they're fun to make and um, and you don't have to invest like you don't have to have old ephemera pages you don't have to have old laces you can use like the eyelet from Walmart that's really pretty eyelet um, you can coffee stain the eyelet if you want it to look old you can um, but you can use just paper and glue and I made my very first one of these by use a ruler, measuring four inches and six inches and cutting and folding and tearing. I, I didn't even have a scoreboard. Scoreboard makes it a lot easier, but you know. So then you take your little cards that come with the, with the library pockets and put them in there. And see that looks nice at framed against the little staining that you did. And then you take them and you choose where you want them to go pocket-wise to stick out of. I don't know, is this the pocket I want them to go sticking out of? That's kind of nice. Kind of like that. And then they, they just stick out of the pocket like that, like that. Okay, there. There we go. That's nice. I do need to do something about that. I will. So just pretend that we got old ledger page or paper and put it here. That's nice that she still opens up and you still see her. I'm gonna put the old ledger paper there or something or collage it somehow. I'll do that, but I, I don't wanna collage it with glue. I wanna do it with gel medium or something so it lays flat. I don't want it to be lumpy. <laughs> So there now, so here we get to this, this part of our journey. And um, I just want to take a look at something. Okay. So what I did was I went on amazon.com and I got this nice Venetian lace, very inexpensive, but really pretty. In fact, I was like, wow. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure it off and you're gonna cut it like, and I would cut just a little extra just so that you have wiggle room, just some wiggle room so you don't have to keep cutting off hunks of this lace, which just would make a great pocket. Look at this, wait, I just got an idea. This is the other thing I do. Wow, that would be such a pretty pocket. Okay, we might do that later. Okay, so um, here you have your lace. Here's the right side. And I am gonna get my fabric tack to do this. And so you want to, you're gonna glue it kind of loosely. I'm sorry, I left, I left you. Here I am, I'm back. And you're gonna just wanna see how it wraps around. You're gonna wrap it around. And I would just not do, don't do it tight. Do it loose so that you've got room to stuff it, to stuff your journal. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Now, I think the mistake I made on my other journal, I'm not gonna make that mistake on this one. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take one of these papers and I'm going to put it on here. And I'm just gonna go along the edge like this on the scallop 
and I'm going to just fill it in because I don't want it to show through too much. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it on there like that. There we go. There, that's pretty. Isn't that nice, yeah. Pretty, pretty. And then I'm gonna just check on the back to see what we've got going on in the back. I'm gonna do it loosely there too, but I'm gonna take that out because it's falling out. Um, before I do that though, I'm gonna trim it up so it's kind of even. You see what I'm doing? I apologize if, if <laughs> there's parts of these videos that are, oh, where did she go? Well, I don't know. I need to learn my, get my camera skills. I just do this with my phone, so I'm not a really professional uh, filmer. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over. Oh, that's stuck. And I'm gonna try to cut it as evenly as I can. A little too much is better than too less, too, not, not enough. So don't pull on it too hard. There, that's good. And look it, these are such good things. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold it over. Once again, I'm gonna do it on this paper. I'm going to just go on the scalp. Oop, wrong glue. Eh, sorry. I'm gonna get the right glue this time. This glue doesn't sit upside down, so it takes a while to come, come out, but I don't use it as much. I don't use this as much as I use my tacky glue. There we go. So that's all along the edge. I'm gonna shut it back up though, because it gets so dried up. And then we're gonna put it on there like that, just really gently so it doesn't spread it out a little, the little ruffly things, little scallops. And it's gonna be a little bit loose on the edge, on the spine, because you want that, because you wanna be able to have room to grow. That's what you really want, room to grow when you stuff this thing full of stuff. Now, if you're not gonna stuff it, if you're gonna just leave it, do it a little bit tight. So it's tight along the edge. I put mine on after I'd stuffed it on the other journal that I showed you in the flip through. That, that lace went on after everything was in the journal so that I knew how fat I needed it to be. But it doesn't look bad and see it opens up, it'll be, and see, when you stuff it, it'll sort of grow. So just be mindful of that. And I would suggest that you don't actually put your lace on until you have your journal fully stuffed. So there's that. And um, I'm gonna be a little sacrilegious on this pretty lace and I'm going to ink it up to age it a little bit. Cause I, I'm not a stark white person. I didn't wear a stark white wedding dress. I wore, I wore bridal white. I loved my wedding dress. Anyway, um, I just am not a stark white person. I, I tend to like bridal white. That is one of my favorite colors. That's a, it's an official color and I love it. It's so, it's not ivory. It's not bright white. It's just the most beautiful, creamy color. Now, there's that on there. Now, I would say that it would be fun to embellish it a little bit. And I have this little bag of stuff that I have that I found. And I found this really pretty ribbon that I crinkled and dyed. And what do you think? Is that pretty? Should I should I make it into a cluster? Oh wait, oh wait, everybody, hang on. What about these in a cluster with the ribbon? That would be pretty. Oh yes, that's sort of nice. So what if I 
tied it. And this is the way I do things, ladies. Just flying by the seat of my pants. Okay. Um, tie it. Let me go. Like that's nice. And then tied it into... I, I've got glue all over my fingers. I usually wash my fingers so that I'm not covered in glue. Um, like that. That's kind of nice. And then what if... I wonder how a rose would look on there. If you took some netting, that'd be pretty too. Doesn't show though. We took a rose and put it up. Oh, I like that. Oh yes, and so this is what I do with my roses. I find my awl, this is what I use for an awl, and I take my rose wires and I wrap them into little spirals like they've come off the rose bush. There we go. And then I will tie that on there as well. I'm gonna cut it because it's too long. So cut it. Am I knocking you around? Sorry. Look at me. Okay. Um and then I'm gonna do this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Here we oh shoot. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm gonna tie it really tight. Here we go. Come on, get in there, Rose. Get in there. There. And I'm gonna smush it. Smush it around. And put it right there. Oh, I like that. What do you think? Should I put a little bit more? Should I make it even more dangly? I'm, I'm prone to Roughly dangles, okay. I think I might tie another one. Stick it on there. Let's see. If I do this. Let's see. Alrighty, put that in there. Go in. Okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. There we go. Another one. Okay, make that one a little bit longer. Oh, I like that. And I abuse roses so that they get all kind of old looking. Yes, Siree Bob, I do think I like that. That is pretty. Okay, so we are going to take our fabric tech since we are working with fabricy things and we're going to put a whole big glob on here. Just a really big glob so it stays shut. Put our lid on and we're gonna stick it down like that. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. See? That's pretty. There. So, um, in conclusion, you can then go in and fill this thing up. I'm gonna finish it off a little later. I, I don't think I'm going to. I've pretty much shown you the whole process, how to make it. Um, and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing it and learning from it. I hope you learned something. I hope it's not confusing. You can, of course, can ask me questions. You can find me on Instagram. I'm Lace Girl, L A C E G R L 130. And um, on Instagram, uh, my Etsy shop is Dorothy Jane Papery on Etsy. Um, you can message me on Etsy. You can message me on Instagram. I'm happy to answer questions. Um, I got this lace off Amazon. It's cotton Venetian lace. Um, and the papers that I've designed will be in my Etsy shop. When I post these videos, I'm going to get them ready and everything will be um, available to, you'll be able to buy the, the uh, Jane Eyre 
papers and the Jane Eyre accessories, and then you'll be able to make this journal, or you can take this pattern and use all your favorite digital designers and make this journal. Um, that would be fun as well. Um, I made one, I've made some, I made a sample one once and I made a um, paper cameo one once. Um, they were really pretty, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching and have a really good weekend. Take care.